What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, our first ever Ultimate Masters draft here. We were sitting here recording for four minutes, and I was like, I don't want to put these people through four minutes of waiting. Oh, we would have opened a Magus of the Bazaar. Oh, that's a thing. Desperate Ritual, huh? Grave Strength. 2-2 two -two Drake, when it enters the battlefield, put an aura from your graveyard, from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control attached to it. That's not terrible, but it could be terrible. Discard an island to counter a spell. Hissing. All of this art is different, so I have no idea what these cards are. 3 for 3 1, whenever a creature dies. Yeah, this was a Shards of Alara card. <clears throat> Take the Crusher. Yeah, it's, it's Crusher's pretty good. Boom, 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 bada bada boom, 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 bada bada boom. Discard a card. Regenerate patchwork. Gnomes. Thermo Alchemist. Um, Umbras are good. I don't see any. Um, oh, in the in the format, you mean? Yeah, I could see taking the Iridescent Drake. It's just a two-two flyer. I mean, that's totally fine. I like Demir Guildmage, and I'm actually kind of surprised it's it's common. That's actually pretty funny. Life from the Loam. I'm gonna look up some of these prices as we go. This is a. Uh, this is a phantom draft, so we're not actually drafting these cards. We're not we're not keeping them. But I am curious as to some of the prices. Wow, Vengevine is only a dollar fifty on Magic Online. I don't actually think I have Vengevines because the price was so high. I lied to you, I have four Vengevines. Apparently I have everything on Magic Online and I just don't really need anything. Foil Urban Evolution is probably the pick, right? Oh, I like a face fetters too, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's what that was that's what got me. No card is worth more than the entrance fee. Like the entrance fee is like twenty four, and Liliana is the highest card at like twenty, and it's really kind of weird. <sighs> I like Face Fetters, but boy, do I like our I like Urban Evolution a lot more than I like Face Fetters. Oh, Fecundity, River Prowler, Meringue River Prowler, Lemon Meringue River Prowler. <clears throat> So two one you can cast it from our graveyard as long as you control a green or a blue dude, which we will likely have. Lab maniac as uncommon is still pretty weird. Probably just taking the river prowler. Fire ice, that's pretty sweet. As a common as well. This set is weird. Can't block and can't be blocked. Uh lab maniac you have to do it. I definitely don't. I will disagree with you. Uh, definitely not lab maniacing. Angel of Despair. I like an unstable mutation. I can just keep getting that dude back. I'll play this guy and make it a 5-5 five, five flyer. Then a 4-4 four, four flyer. Then a 3-3 three, three flyer. Then uh, it's back to a 2-2 two, two flyer. And then it's a 1-1 one, one flyer. And then it dies. But we had a good run at that point. <clears throat> you think Root Wall? I don't actually know how much madness is in this uh, in this set. I haven't looked much at this set. I mean, I looked at it, but I didn't really memorize it. This second person who said Umbras seem really good, but I haven't... Oh, just this the Eel Umbra? Yeah, all right, I'll take an Eel Umbra, sure. It's not super exciting, but whatever. Miming Slime. Eh. Eh. This is why I like drafting cubes so much, because I'm like, instead of a planeswalker, I have a two three for for a two one for three. And a two two flyer for four. And I'm just like eh. Eh. Thank you. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Thank really appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted subs, friendo. All right, so I don't know what to pick here. I think it's Unstable Mutation. Thank you. How does Unstable reset Umbra? That doesn't work because it's state-based effects, not damage. Thank um, you. Probably just Stitch Drake here. War Leader's Helix seems pretty solid. Thank you. I feel like there's more thank yous incoming. Boom, 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 boom. I do like Canker Abomination. 
I don't care much about deranged assistant. I'll take the actually spider bro. Thank you. As a late gift for elk tears. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, what if elk tears said one? You'd be like, here's one gifted son. Take one of these. Uh, I don't know which. I'll go with spider bro. Stitcher's Apprentice, make a homunculus, then sack a dude. Moan of the Unhallowed is very good. I don't know if we're... Are we just doing this? Are we just salt tying it? Are we ever not? Uh, I don't know what kind of fixing is in this format. I guess Verdant Eidolon is uh, kind of like fixing. I kind of like having a... This is the second World Leaders Helix. We could have double World Leaders Helix right now. I'm just going to take Foil here. Oh, there's a Foil Gurmag Angler. That's probably like 10 bucks in real life. Can't, can't go. Morgan, happy belated birthday. I totally forgot to say happy birthday to you, but happy birthday. You are my favorite Morgan. What's up, Denmark? I'm more excited to cube. I don't know, man. I just want to play with powerful magic cards that don't suck. Like, none of these cards are good. I guess I'll just take Magus. <laughs> Who's my favorite subscriber? I don't have one of those. You're all my children. You are all my beautiful children. Oh, dang it. I didn't I knew it. Like I was there. I was ready to say it. And then I forgot. So without any reminder. I said it here, so hopefully that counts for something. How many foils is too many? These cards seem booty compared to Modern Cube. That's true. Uh, the Vintage Cube starts like in two weeks after Ultimate Masters goes away. So, uh, all things considered, the past, like the uh, this this two month two month or so block of time is is pretty well positioned. You get modern cube, ultimate masters, and then vintage cube. So fecundity. Do you love me even though I have no money for you? Because I am what people call them for. By the way, I meet again for the whole time. Uh, I do. I do still love you. There's no fi financial means are uh, are not a uh, are not a requirement for my love. Ooh. Why would you say you slash r slash g instead of just saying teamer? God, that's so much effort. Is that the hill you want to die on? Oh, it's your boy. Look, we can just pretend like we're drafting Modern Cube. Also, Mahamodi Jin. Jesus. Oh, a Kodama's Reach too. Man, this is the most. This is the most cube pack ever. Do 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, Urborg? That makes our Sultai a lot easier. Frantic Search. There is a lot of mill in this cube. You got Frantic Search, you got Sultai Skull Keeper, you got Forbidden Alchemy. There is a lot of ways to put your things in the graveyard for your laboratory maniac, I guess. <sighs> I like Hooting Mandrels. Hmm.
Yeah, it's probably Hooting Mandrels. I actually have no idea what I'm doing, so we're going to actually play this and see if it's any good and see what we're missing. What was the best bomb in the set? Pack one, pick one. Um, that's a good question. I don't actually know. I'm sure I'll know after I'm 30 drafts into this set. At that point, I'm like, man, I wish we could open this card. Um, Karn is pretty good. Oh, Leovold. 100% Leovold. Buried alive, huh? Pulse of Mirasa seems great. Uh, Pulse of Mirasa, probably the pick. Uh, how much is it to draft? Same as same as cube, hundred hundred play points for a phantom draft, or like like a million for a regular draft. Intermediate draft league is twenty five tickets or two hundred fifty play points, so more expensive than the cost of the. Most expensive card in the set, unfortunately. Are you still stoked for the hot wing stipulation draft? I don't know if I'm stoked for it. Brian, no package came yesterday, just so you know, buddy. And if it was USPS, no package came today either, so... Feels like another return to Ravnica situation. Also, the bomb gets here on Monday, so... Anytime after that should be fine. For the stip. Uh, Reanimate seems pretty sweet. Miles Black, thanks so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hmm, it might just be rune snag. Skip it up and do. Well, there wasn't a hurricane in Florida when that happened, so that was a. I, I don't know what I don't know what caused what happened, but like there was, like between where you are and where I am, there was no real hurricane in that path. But you still said it. You still said I should have been expecting it yesterday, so I'm just curious as to when I should actually expect things. I think we're gonna take Rune Snag. I think. Can you make the cards a bit bigger? Yeah, I can see what I can do. Probably can't make these bigger. Um, it's just crushing canopy number two. Well, yes, there was no... Right, I, I know there was no mail yesterday, guys, but usually it comes the next day. Anyway, I... <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. Uh, Crushing Canopy, probably fine. Penumbra Worm? This card is busted. I really want a Kodama's Reach here, but... Uh, oh, Flight of Fancy is real good, too. Dang. I'm taking the Penumbra Worm. That card's really... Without you singing Hold On by Wilson Phillips? Um... I bet it could happen. For one more day, things will go your way. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so actually, do we just take Ulamog's Crusher and try to be like the big ramp deck? I think that's what we're going to do. You know, Penumbra Worm is really good because it has the word Umbra in its name. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Elk Tears, let me tell you something, buddy.
Sure are a lot of black and red cards coming around. That cake guy was a stand-up delivery guy. I guess I'll just take this. No one can <laughs> No one can change your life except for you. Never let me walk all over you. Open your heart and your mind. Someday somebody's gonna think you wanna turn around and think bye. Okay, now now it's gone too far. Me turn around and think bye. That's a good song. That's a that's a that's a good song. I'll take a canker abomination, I guess. Man, I really wanted that Kodama's reach. Why people gotta be like this? Like, uh, why do I sound like Carmen? Because I don't want to really sing it. Because uh, I I want to make sure people know I'm not taking myself too seriously. GRN drafts often look better. Uh, yeah, when my when I have my my gra my guilds Ravnica drafts, I do feel like those decks are a little more a little more cohesive than than what's happening right now. You know what? I don't know if Elk Tears really wants that for his birthday. <laughs> Real top three cards in your library and put one of them in your hand. You gain life. You go to the cards and command cost, put all your cards in the graveyard. I hope you took that one. Oh, you didn't. You took the groundskeeper. All right. I was just reading the card. My bad. Do you want to sing that at karaoke in New York City? No, I don't. I don't want to sing any karaoke in New York City. I don't know if I want two foils. Thank God there's another pack left. Back to basics, boy. Gadok Teague. Oh, we did it. No, just kidding. This is a phantom draft. We don't get to keep anything. JK. This card's busted. Um, It's good. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Um, Yeah, it's probably just Urban Evolution number two, right? Jesus. Can I get a con one Kodama's Reach, please? Just one Kodama's Reach? No one can change your life except for you. I don't think it's Visions. I think it's probably just Safe Hold Elite. Just want a little, little early nerd. Give me that good old Kodama's Reach. I don't have any gold cards. I think we have four. So I don't know how good this is. Can you hold on to these bits? Play I can hold on to them. Oh. Hold on to these bit. I can't. We can't have make a marriage. You open all the same rares I expect from my box. Yeah, we could add two Lab Maniacs. Two Vanilla 2-2s two in our deck. I'm going to take this Verdant Eidolon. Maybe. How much discard do we have? Not much, right? Probably still better than a second safe hold elite or a basking root walla. Whatever. Another miming slime, huh? Alright. Well. How many Ulmog's crushers is too many? Oh, Boar Umbra. That's a good Umbra. All is dust. Nice. Oh, Flight of Fancy, too. Dang. I'm taking this Boar Umbra. This Brumbra, if you will. I want a Kodama's Reach and a Flight of Fancy. Oh, a Stirring Wildwood. And a look at that Fulminator Mage. Foil Fulminator Mage? Man, we'd be rich if this is a real draft and someone actually was willing to pass this. So rich. Oh, 
Oh, I think Brawn is definitely playable. I would play a Brawn if we got one. Um, I don't know if I'd take it higher than the other cards I took over it, though, is the problem. No one can change Brian's life except for him. Pulse, Eel, Revival, Cathodian, Custodian. I wish we had a way to play this. I guess we'll just take the Eel Umbra. I wish we could take the, uh, the Mammoth Umbra. That one was great. Become immense. Target creature gains flying and then flash it back. Flash it back. Flash, flash it back. Become immense just kills them, right? You probably played over Scuzzback Marauders. That card sucks. Wish you would. <laughs> That's a different song. God dang it. Whenever you cast a spell targets it, put two one encounters on it. This guy was actually pretty good. Alright, we'll take this guy. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be stuck in here for quite a while. I think you're correct. Well, no one can change my life except for me, I guess. So... Till then, maybe some summer da 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 ba summer tanga baum, shabba down, baka baum, wabba down, skip a dip, dip a dap, bit a baum, wap baum. Oh, it's a whirlwind adept. Adept. I wish Eel Umbra game flying. What's the one that gives flying? Drake Umbra? Yeah, that one's good. Another Kanky Boy. Oh, Kanky Boy. I don't know if Kanker Abomination is very good. I don't actually know how much. Um... I don't know how many creatures are, are standard on, on early turns. Moving my mic. I don't know if you guys can hear the, the mic movement. Hey, Braun came back. I don't know if rune snag is good enough and you just have one rune snag. Technically, it was Elk Tears and the Scuzzback Marauders. Then I eventually broke off and just became Elk Tears and the Scuzzback Marauders. Oh, I just became Elk Tears, comma, and the Scuzzback Marauders wanted to have pretty good success. Okay, so I thought it be I thought you became Elk Tears and the Scuzzback Marauders went on to have pretty good success. The syntax is a little weird there, but I get your ultimate message. I think your Mumbra gives. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I guess you did get him. What? I think we can take out Stitch Drake. I'm not loving. I don't think we want two pulses. Da, 
This guy comes back with a negative one, negative one counter. And then we can put mutation on it. Oh, no, then it gets more. Dang. I don't know if Canker Abomination is bad, though. Like, it could be a... If it's a 4-4, four, four, a 5-5, five, five, or a 6-6, six, six, it's just great. Uh, I'm going to cut the Brawn. Let's see how many Swamps they give us. Two? Nah. I ain't about that double Swamp life. Wait, hold on. They gave us two Swamps, but they only provided 16 lands. 7-7-2? Seven, seven, yeah, that's weird. Now I have now I have Scott stuck in my head because you guys are clearly amazing. If that's wrong, I don't want to be oh my god. Was it a good experience? I don't know. It was a confusing experience thus far, but it was my first draft, so I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the, the benefit of the doubt here. Master sets have traditionally been pretty good. However, master sets have also traditionally paid back what you like. You can also I like I was I was able to go infinite in master sets pretty frequently. Um, I don't think that's the case with this one, considering the uh, considering the highest valued card is less than the draft entry. <laughs> So you have to draft like two money cards in order to break even in this format, which is pretty stupid. Oh, that guy's probably going to crush us. Uh, let's get another forest here. So we can actually play our Canker Abomination, and then we can play Mandrills next turn, which is pretty nice. Mandrills, Mandrills, well, that's pretty good. Do, 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 do. Oh, I probably know the words to Alone by heart if I heard it, but... Uh... Um, yeah, I'll take two. This guy's going to be a better blocker in the long term. Plus one, plus three. And then they can just like keep bouncing it and replaying it. That's interesting. Uh, do we have any way to ramp us to Crusher quicker? We, can, we have two all urban evolutions. But uh, it's a slow road. Do, do, do. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. So they just have the busted. Uh... Yikes. Oh, crying out loud. They just literally have the busted. Uh... You guys know what I'm saying. I don't have to keep repeating it. All right. So this guy's a 3-3. Three, three. So what they can do is EOT bounce on their turn, replay it for one, bounce it for one, replay it for one, giving all of their guys three counters. Yeah, this is not going to end well for us. Actual nuts. I don't think I'm about to bust. I think they're about. I think I, I don't think this is what causes me to bust. This is like reverse busting. I uh looking pretty good. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. Give your whole team plus four, plus four. I mean, <laughs> seems good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to go to the next game now because we literally just can't defeat this. We don't have a deck with a lot of removal. Uh, and by a lot, I mean we basically have none removal. So uh, I want to bring in this rune snag because, Jesus God. Oh, uh, Lord. Crushing canopy kills an enchantment, but that seems a little slow. It's not the enchantment I care about. Oh, God. Four DX? No, that sounds way too. That sounds like sensory overload. I just want to watch a movie. <laughs> oh man. Sure. I see. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw Venom like months ago. I can safely say our first foray into this format is not going great. Yeah, I'm just going to rune snag because I have to get this in the graveyard so I can play either Urban Evolution or Hooting Mandrels next turn. Uh, probably Hootsies. Hoots o toots. <coughs> oh, I see. A little face fetters, huh? Okay. That's a good one. That is a, a solid gentle Mino. Uh, format is super weird and we're not very good. I mean, it's the first draft. I don't expect to be good at anything the first time I try it. That is... Huh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just the absolute nuts white deck. I don't know if my deck is good. What, is, what does that even mean? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, if we four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, if we go all in on this guy, they just face fetters it next turn, so that's sad. Oh boy.
Oh, big fan has been meme level for ages. Almost a year now. Boy, a crushing canopy sure looks good now, doesn't it? When I saw a bunch of Umras, I was like, eh, that seems silly. Or Conviction was the only one of the only cards I saw. It was just like, well, that doesn't seem great. But, uh... Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, we have an eel umbra here. Oh, we can take their eel umbra. Oh, that's gas. That's very good. <laughs> sure. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. I feel like we have a small iota of hope here. Oh, no. Get fucked, nerd. Okay, cool. You got me. In my face, I suppose. I missed it. Was OP's deck any good? I don't know. It's hard to say. I gotta go to the store. I'll catch you later. I'll also train on the page. Uh, you don't make sense. <laughs> Brian, have a good, uh, have a good, have a good errands, buddy. Is Q still up? Cause uh, yeah, it's up until five. So uh, if I can get if I can get this draft over with quickly, I can do one more Q draft. Yep, let's mulligan that. Uh, I guess this is keepable. Two, three, four, five, six. Six plus four plus four. Seven. I mean, technically, this should be lethal. <laughs> if they can't interact with our meringue predator prowler, and we go umbra mutation on it, it's it's lethal. Oh man, I'm looking forward to the vin at least in the vintage cube. Like I expect to get blown out by ridiculous shit. I'm just like, oh, it's a vintage cube. Cool. So when you do nonsense and, and I lose in 15 seconds, I expect that and I can quickly move on to the next round. However, when it happens in Ultimate Masters Draft, I'm just like, eh, okay. Is God's Willing a good card? I don't know. Are any of the cards good cards? Probably. It's a hold on for one more day. All right, well, we got the Simic Mirror match here, so that's nice. See, I don't think our deck is terrible, but I also have no idea if our deck is terrible. So two, three, four, five, six. We get in for six, then we get in for five, then we get in for four. Then we get in for three, then we get in for two, and that's 20. So technically, when this guy is a 2-1, the literal turn before he dies by becoming a 1-0... We will win the game. God willing. God's willing. Like it did last game. We can kill them like that. I was on the phone with my insurance while you were drafting. And the first thing I know we were in round two. Yeah, that's how magic works sometimes. It works in mysterious ways. Well, that's the thing, I guess. 
Well, I'm not blocking that because I can't. <clears throat> oh. Oh, I also like that because we can counter a thing if we really want to. Let's play a Spumbra. Two, three, four, five. Did we win this race? I don't know. We don't really have a choice, though, because, well, we can't block. All right, step one. Oh, also we have reach, which is pretty sweet. I uh, I like that we have reach here. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. I mean, that, that assumes we don't draw anything, obviously. I mean, I, I, get, I get to draw cards every turn. I don't know if you knew that. Also, they may not pump this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're dead in four. So they go, we go to 13, they go to 9, we go to 8, they go to 5, we go to 3, they go to 2, we die, We then, we, then they die. We all know it's 3 lands on top, that's true. Alright, so both these dudes... No, this doesn't do anything. <laughs> so this guy's a discard outlet for this. Uh, it's weird to just have Basking Root Wall. There's no Arrogant Worm in this format, right? Is Basking Root Wall like the only Madness card? This is another. Are you casting a second root? Oh my god, root wall dot deck over here. E boy. Oh, the red worm is in it. That's weird because a lot of the madness cards are blue. I think. I guess there's probably red discard cards, but usually red discard is pretty random. They don't like letting you. Oh, there you go. If they all, they're all on. They're on the same thing. Okay, so there are other Madness cards. Yeah, that's pretty good then. All right. <laughs> oh, no blocks here. Oh, I'll pump my Root Walla. Mm, sounds good. I always yield to that. I ain't going to have no responses. Don't be a land. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So we could, if we had another forest, we could actually play a one-one canker abomination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a raging ravine. That's gonna about do it. All right, this has been a good. I think this has been a, a solid ultimate master experience so far. One damage to the player or planeswalker that creature is. Wait, whenever a creature you control. No, that sucks. Oh boy. I mean, maybe, but I'd also probably rather just play like Stitch Drake than either of them. But we don't have that many creatures. Like, we have three creatures before turn three. Oh god. Oh god. Well, this is only 10 ticks. This is why I'm not playing. This is why it's a Phantom Draft.
Yeah, I can't imagine any Phantom Draft being 20. That would be utterly insane. They would never fire. I remember when I had to learn how to roll blunts and I went through like 10 bucks worth of white, white owls. I almost said white owls. Well, little Stewie Griffin there. White owls. I don't know what that is, though, because I don't roll blunts, so. Oh, boy. Oh, it's your little boy. I'm just gonna block here because, like, if you're if you really want to like pump this dude, that's your turn. I'm fine with that. And he come right on back. Yeah, all right. I bet we can hit a land in the top four, right? You know what? Positive thinking. Uh, let's get a forest. Play the forest. Hot up do scootin' do do do. We talking about like weed rolling right now because that's pretty comical. That's we're having a good time. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Seder Wayfinder broke even. Uh, so basically traded a, an Umbra for a Root Wallow. Well, that's something. <laughs> Sometimes I squeeze the guts out and repack that. Are you talking about mar Are you talking about marijuanas? Hmm. What we can do is add three. Let's do that. Three green, four five. Evolution. Yes to this. Because we get to play two lands here. And we can go Spider Umbra, Eel Umbra on this guy. I probably just want the Eel Umbra, I guess. Boy, this this safe hold lead is doing a lot of work.
Might as well block here. If they want to kill this guy in response to the Elumbra, I guess we'll deal with that. Oh boy, safe hold elite coming back again. <laughs> Jesus. She might have to give it health care? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get that reference. We got six mana, so we can play Drake and put Boar Umbra and Spider Umbra on it. Sure, my Drake's gonna be better though. Oh, that's sad. Um wait, actually, can we do this? One, two, one, two, three, four. Make three. No, we still get we one mana shy of that. I guess we just play Drake here. And we're going to get Bore Umbra, for obvious reasons. If it's not being a contractor, I'm going to be classified as an employee. Wow, that was an obscure reference, but yeah, you know what? I can get behind that. That's that's good. Actually, I don't know what to do here. It's a tricky turn. I'm going to put it on you. Wow. I gotta get Vape Nation before I try those Canadian snacks. Is that the actual? Is that an actual H three H three? Oh no, it's just a BT TV. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was an H three H three, but uh, actual. You know. So we have five, six, seven. We can play this for five. We can play this guy after if we hit a thing. I think we still have to play. Or well, we can play Verdant and Demir Guild Mage, I guess. Next turn, it lets us play Crusher. Yeah, that seems good. Oh my god, Menton Dev wants Spazio. Why are you like this? <laughs> oh god. Oh, I like this. So we're going to have four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have ten mana. I guess we just crush him, right? And then they're going to counter it. Can't you just dip your, dip your chips in ketchup? Isn't that the same as ketchup chips? I'm no ketchup chip expert, but <sighs> never didn't have it.
I had a coffee crisp last night, actually, and it was pretty solid. Uh, the best so far, I mean, I haven't tried a bunch. I tried a Coffee Crisp. I tried the Crispy Crunchy one. And I tried the big one, I believe, Mr. Big. Uh, Coffee Crisp was probably the best so far. Sour Cream and Bacon? No, we have Sour Cream and Cheddar, though, which is very, very good. Cheddar and Sour Cream, probably the best chip. Yeah, this is aggressive. Uh, block here, block here, I guess. I don't know if there's anything you can blow us out with. I don't think we need the guild mage as much when we have uh um urban evolution in hand, but I could be wrong. So long, Borumbra. Bumbra. So we're gonna attack, they're gonna kill the Borumbra. Seems Pretty easy. So you kill the boar umbra. Then we get a 5-5, five, five, so we deal go to 9, then we deal 4, then we deal 3, then we deal 2. I guess this is actually still a clock. Kill the unstable mutation. Dang. They're good at this game. All right, so you're at nine, and then next turn you go to five, and then you take three and go to two, and then you die again. So this is, again, the situation where we're like, all right, unstable mutation, deal exactly enough damage. I mean, we can block Wicker Bow Elder efficiently and chump the Brute Wall, I guess, and take three, go to six, and just hope we draw something. We have Urban Evolution, which gets back at least Verdant Eidolon for the turn after. We're at nine, though. It's only three swings from this. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd alpha here. We could just chump block, but then we only have eight here. And then, like, maybe if they don't play anything at all, we get to kill them. If we, we have to, like, draw an Umbra, which is not impossible with Urban Evolution, but we also have to draw... Um, actually, Spider Umbra, Eel Umbra, and Eel Umbra in the graveyard. I don't actually have any Umbras left. So that's not really an option there. So it's probably better to just get that dude off the board and trade and not die. All right. Well, this guy can't even block. What are you doing, Meringue River Prowler? Oh, oh, Pulse seems great here. Are we dead? We block the biggest dude. We take three, four, five, six. Oh, that's actually insane. You know, assuming they don't have 
Oh, they played Treasure Cruise. How nice. Cheshire Pratt, take it easy, buddy. Is Circular Logic in this cube? In this uh in this set? I actually don't think so. What are we getting back? Crusher maybe? Guild main? Wow, Circular Logic's in the set. I'm just gonna get it back now because it's uh So the problem is like we risk them drawing one more card. They could have foil in hand with no island, which is something we can play around right now. Whereas if they untap, they can play foil. They could have, um, they could or they could they could draw a a counter spell off the top. Uh, I don't know which is likely, but the the problem is like they may attack with this guy, which keeps this clock alive. I think we're gonna do it now because we're actually not to what is it four five six seven eight. We're just gonna get the crusher back. Because if they have a counter for this, we're just dead. They did not. And we're live. The Lamentations of Frank... Wow, that sounds like it could be a while. Like, it could be a... That sounds like a, a quite a long name. I don't know what, what that could be a while means. It sounds... That's, that's quite the mouthful, is what I'm getting at here. Are we dead? I don't think so. <sighs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, crap. It's going well. Oh, by the way, I have a other snipe in my deck and I drew it. Seems good. Congratulations. Okay, so I think we've learned something. Well, that was a fun, this has been a fun experiment. Lose O2 real quick, so I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We have until five, so we should be able to hop in another modern master's cube. Unless they, like, shut them down. But, um, Yeah. Modern Masters, Modern Cube Draft. I don't know why I keep saying. I keep getting Cube and Modern and Masters confused. Do you remember seeing me go O2? It's definitely happened before. This is not a first.
Yes, I got the pre I got the pretzel Seinfeld meme. Thank you. Jesus. Pierce, you drafted the same four cards. Correct. Correct. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Three turns. Four turns. We're going to have a... We're going to have quite a game. Don't do anything. You should stop playing cards because I'm not playing cards, and it's only fair that you don't play cards as well. That's my theory. <sighs> Alright, donate a buck. Will you chat your opponent these mutations? No, I won't. No, I will not do that. But I appreciate you asking. And then say, it's from Seinfeld. Oh, crying out loud. <sighs> oh, it's almost like you want this guy to go into the graveyard. Okay, you know what? I'll bite. Oh, you have a... Oh, look at that. You got a little trick. Wait, what's the... Oh, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. So I can crack this for three, four, five, six, seven. We can play this guy and then put nothing on it. I think we're actually just kind of urban evolution here. I, I want to be able to play uh, Elumbra on this before we cast it. Is that correct, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're one, we're one away. We get to play another land here. Would be nice. Well, no, no other lands to be had. <sighs> All right, let's do it again. Let's try again. You get to draw a little card. Are you gonna dredge? Oh, you did. Did you? Wait, what does Golgari Grief, what does that thug do? Goes to your hand? Oh, put for, put a creature from a graveyard on top of your library. So you just put the thug back. Okay. Doesn't he dredge, though? I guess it's got multiple things. Yeah, okay. They're just not dredging it. I'm, I get it. Okay. Well, we're doing a thing. We were looking for one land to be able to implement this plan, but apparently that's not, uh, that's not how things work. Blah. Jesus. I need one land and like four cards, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Doesn't seem that unreasonable, right? Even like, even one of the canker abominations would be great here. Like a 4 4 would be great. If we urban evolution, we go down to seven and then we go up to ten and then we can play two lands, go down to eight. Theoretically, if we hit forest and something else, we can do something. Oh, God. We hit one land. And it's not even a land that lets us cast. Activate this. Oh, I'm cringing so hard. I guess we can do our plan next turn, but Jesus. I don't understand what's happening. Get rid of you. Get rid of you.
Yep, keep doing it. How many ticks needed? 10. It was a phantom draft. If you want to do a regular one, it's 25. Like, this is fine because you just have to keep recasting it, right? Well, that was nice. So, well, that's not how you do it. Um, we can actually play Crusher and put an Umbra on it. That actually seems pretty good. Let's do that instead. Yeah, I'm game. I'm game. Yep, destroy a creature. Perfect. This is why we put that umbra on you, on your boy. All right. So what do we have? Eight, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. All right. Oh, you have to attack. Yeah, there we go. Seems good. All right. We got a lot of cards, but not a lot of things to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shriek Maw. Who are you going to hit? Your boy. Nay. Basically counterspell. This seems stronger here. I just want to make sure this dude survives forever. Is this also lethal if they don't block? <laughs> Oh, we just win. All right. Wow, this is our first game we won. Congratulations, us. Way to go. Good job. You're very good at this format. It's basically unbeatable. There is no Dream is Dying clip, no. Because there's no real clip for it. Oh, there might be a clip for it because it was, it was actually sung on stream with Rob, but... Is this really the Dream is Dying clip? That's amazing if it's real. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's very good. I didn't know that was clipped. Well, here we go. Here we go. I mean, if they want to just keep attacking with Root Wall for three, I'm okay with this. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. An island. I mean, realistically, I did want that, but Shut next turn we have Idolon, which is money. nice. 
one regular draft or 21 out of two phantom ones if you want 21 and a half 21 21 two i don't even know what that means mini t minis tuberson thank you so much for the donation I really appreciate it <laughs> oh oh biscuits what are we doing here just idle on i guess right But it said 21 slash 2. That's not how... That's not how I'm... I think it's 2 and... Oh, tw oh, it says... Oh, it says 2 and a half. I gotcha. I don't think there was... I didn't see a space between the... Uh, it doesn't look like there's a space between the... The 2, the 1 and the... You know what I'm saying. Do we just block here? Actually, we do block here because we get to draw a card thanks to your fecundity. Which is totally fine. And basically the same as... Hitting a land... So now we get to go one, two, three, four, five. We could do the thing. Might just play whirlwind adept here. Yeah, I don't think we want an urban evolution here. Let's play whirlwind adept. <sighs> like the issue is we have things to do in our hand. We can actually play Sitter Wayfinder next turn, play Mandrills for real cheap, and play Demir uh, Guild Mage. Slum Reaper. Each player sacrifices a creature. Well, that's pretty good. Well, we got a land. And we got another dude in the graveyard, so hooting Mandrills is going to be. God, this one brute wall is really doing the deed here. Did I pull a box topper for my Phantom Magic Online draft? I didn't. Whatever that means. You freaking nerd. Wow, Mahamadi Jin, huh? That's sad. What else do we want to play? We want to play Demir Gentleman. One, two, three, four. Uh, they don't only have phantom drafts, but I am doing a phantom draft because it's actually, there's no card in the set that is worth more than the cost of the draft. You know what? I'm game. I mean, they're drawing a lot of cards, but I don't know what they're doing with them. Oh, Canker Abomination is at its finest right now. Yeah, the most expensive card in the set is Liliana at like 18 tickets. A draft is 25 tickets. So you literally have to draft like a Liliana and like another five ticket rare just to like come out on top. So we can play this guy. What else can we do? Play this, play one extra land. I guess we can just play this guy and keep up Umbra. Uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, we can play Unstale Mutation on this guy. And then we go one, two, three, four for Canker Abami. You have to subtract the phantom cost? What does that mean? Paying money for a fan? I don't know what that even means. Like, you know, you pay money for a phantom product every time you pay your Netflix bill, right? <laughs> it's not a real product.
people have this weird connection between like digital things not being real or like worth money is very strange in 2018. I'm like every every piece of music you listen to on iTunes, every movie you watch on Netflix, none of those are real. So it's very strange like when people are like I don't understand why you're playing with digital cards. I'm like cuz I'm the the game is the exact same. I'm playing the exact same game as you. I just don't get to hold a 0. 0.0001 cent common in my hand. Um Yeah, that's fine. What's up, Brando? You can just down. What in that? It's willingly putting yourself through. So it's not really if you choose to support things that you believe in, but you don't sound like you do that. I willingly pay for all kinds of music and movies because I want to have more of them. So, um, because I'm not a moron and I understand how hey. consumerism and and profit works. Uh, I choose to, to support the things that I enjoy so that more of those things can be created by the people who create them. So. Super Fritz, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I apologize that you got suckered into uh, paying for a phantom piece of entertainment. <laughs> it's like, oh man, we have a good time here. So this guy dies, they draw a card, and they're just going to put this guy on top, so they just keep drawing it, which is fine. They still have to replay it every single turn. I'm going to I'm gonna die with a tomb full of my money that I've earned and I've never spent on anything I believed in or supported. 1,000 phantom content bits. <laughs> appreciate it. Preach, my friend. Preach. All the timeline. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh man, good times. Just so you guys know, I don't want any uh I don't want any confusion before you subscribe or donate. You can't actually hold this stream in your hands. It's not real. It's a, it's phantom content, guys. Uh I'm going to get rid of Demir Guildmage cuz I don't feel like that dude's ever going to Look, he also drew us a card on the way out. What a time to be alive. You're welcome. Sorry, but I, I have no idea what that even means. It's literally like you're saying things that actually have no, like they don't even make sense in the context of the conversation we're having. Shut up and take Turn around and say again. Five for profit stream bucks, five phantom bucks. I appreciate you dividing them up like that. That's nice. That's a that's a solid strategy because you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to have. Uh, <laughs> Ando <laughs> gifting five five phantom subs. You don't want to put all your investments into either phantom or real things. You want to you want to diversify just in case, you know. Um, well, when you're illiterate, lots of words can be confusing. I guess I'm illiterate. Unfortunate. I had no idea. Boy, those suckers that gave me an English degree. <laughs> Someone calling me illiterate is like really you're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. That's fantastic. I'm impressed. I don't know what's going on. Are we like, are we being trolled right now? We're like, they have like super ultra mega combo here and I'm just going to die somehow. I don't understand what's happening. I think we're okay, but I think we just won the game. Oh, we won the game. Congrats on our first Ultimate Masters draft. A solid 1-2. It was a phantom draft, though, so it doesn't exist. And unfortunately, this video will self-destruct shortly after it's uploaded to YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, or... Uh, you know, wherever. Links are all in the description below. You can check those out. Uh, no, Mike? No, Mike has a job. And uh, I am... Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm not leaving if you guys are watching the stream. I'm not actually leaving. I'm just ending the video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.